Hello everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to go through this basket, which is all the stuff I'm going to declutter. Um, as you can see, I've kind of gained a few things, and I just think it's time to send them off to a better home. I don't need them sitting in my stuff anymore. <laughs> so, first things first, in June I bought a nail polish. When I buy a nail polish, I give myself like a little penalty and I have to get rid of a nail polish. At least I've been tempting to do that. And I decided to get rid of this Revlon nail polish. It's a topper and it's um, like holographic flakes. What is the color of it? Yeah, so the shade is 725 Cosmic Flakes. I like Revlon polishes. The issue is, is that these flakes are a little too big so they don't lie flat on your nail. I always have like an edge sticking up and that is something I just can't handle with a nail polish. So I'm gonna find that a better home for someone who loves it. I also have two foundation sample sets. This one is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, and then I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter. I've kept the color that I think will match me, and I'm going to get rid of the other two shades. So this one for the Bare Minerals, I'm getting rid of Tan and Chestnut there, and then for the Urban Decay, I'm getting, I know one doesn't fit me because one is so white. I'm also getting rid of five and eight. So, just keeping the samples I want and getting rid of the samples I don't want. Simple and easy. Okay. Oh, oh, do you hear my back crack? That felt really nice. Uh, let's go on to, I've got these Essence Quickie Drying Drops. I don't ever use them. And then the Fast Drops by Zoya. I, I'm just never using them. I, you know, I've had this for like two years and that's all I've used, so... There's no need to do that anymore. I've got the another one from Zoya. This is the Solid Gold Cuticle Oil Gel. So this dried out my cuticles, which I thought was the exact opposite of what you were supposed to do. Like it's, I thought it was supposed to be a moisturizer. There goes my voice again. Why? Um, yeah. So it says for do you apply daily for maximum moisture. It actually made my fingers peel more. What is in my eye? It made my finger peel more so that it makes me just not want to continue using this. So hopefully that works better for somebody else's skin. Um, if it has argan oil in it, I don't respond well to argan oil. I didn't see it in here, but I mean, it has hoba, rice oil. I don't even know what rice oil does. Sweet almond oil. Uh, it just, it did not work for me. It did not work for me. This one also didn't work for me. This is the cuticle softener pen. I got this in a trade and I was so excited to try it, but I can't get anything to come out. I don't know if I'm just like an idiot or what, but like I pulled this out, I pushed it back in. It smells like there's stuff, but when I go to apply it, it's like nothing. So this is actually a trash item for me. That I, I just can't get that to work. <laughs> I just can't get it to work. Okay, let's talk NYX lip products because I have four here that did not work out of my advent calendar. So I've got the butter lipstick in the shade Seashell. I've got the uh, NYX Professional Round Black Matte Lipstick in the shade Indie Flick. This is the orange. I've got the purple in the Intense Butter Gloss. This is Raspberry Tart. Berry Strudel. Nope. And then the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. I mean, look at these colors. Look at these colors. I understand if you are brand new into makeup or you're like really adventurous that these are some fantastic shades. I mean, we got a berry, we got like Barbie pink, we've got a lavender purple and a bright orange. However, I am not that type of person. So I'm gonna find these better homes. I'm gonna find someone who's more adventurous than I, who want to play with makeup more, who will enjoy those. I am sad that the advent calendar isn't fitting all my needs, but I found a couple really good things out of there, so I'm going to enjoy those and then pass on the things I don't, I'm not really going to love. I'm learning not to keep things in my collection for too long. Okay. Wow, I've actually got a lot of NYX in this basket. It's like really surprising to me. So another thing from NYX is last year, so not last year, I guess the 2000. 16 Christmas season and I bought another NYX advent calendar and it was a mix of the um, liquid lingerie liquid lipsticks and these eyeshadows the liquid lingerie eyeshadows and I am just decluttering two of these that look so similar this one's a little bit more of the pinky champagne and this one's more of like a taupe 
shimmer, but both of these were super crumbly and uh, just flaked on my eye and looked scaly. It didn't look smooth. So I'm going to declare both of these singles. Um, I was using my Z palette this month as kind of like my, my add-on to my Mario palette because I got a little bored of my Mario palette and those just, no. Hell to the no. <laughs> those did not work out at all. At all. And they're only a year old and I expect my eyeshadows to last like five years. <laughs> that was a no-go. Another NYX, again, from the advent calendar. This is the mosaic powder in the shade Silk. If you watch you know, my advent calendar, none of this will be really new, but this blush wasn't quite the right shade for me. Sorry, I did that too fast. It wasn't quite the right shade for me. It wasn't my favorite. I'm gonna find that a good home. I think someone with deeper skin tones would like that a little bit better than me. I also was not a huge fan of the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. This made me white and it didn't add any longevity to my foundation, which to me defeats the purpose of a primer. Plus, I found that it sank into my pores, like right here, which are my biggest section of pores, and it just, it didn't do what I want it to do. And if it doesn't do what I want it to do, then it's time for it to go, right? It, there's no need for me to keep on to it. I've got other primers I'm excited to use, so that's what I want to do. Is that all my next stuff? I'm looking down my bathroom like, is that all the next stuff? Yes, it is. So in my 18-2018 lip products, I did pull out two lipsticks to declutter. This is the Pacifica Color Drenched Lip Tint. After like four months of steady use of this, it never moved down the tube, so this is a no-go for me, just as a panner, because I'd go crazy. Then I have the Estee Lauder Passion Fruit Shimmer Pure Color in 56, 54, 54. Um, this is a shade that I really like, but when the color wears off, all I'm stuck with is silver glitter. I don't want silver glitter on my lips, especially when I layer it. It's just like glitter mouth at the end of the day, and this needs to go as well. <sighs> you know, it's really funny in the world of makeup how there's so many wonderful products, and then there's so many products that just don't work. <laughs> and I know a lot of it's personal preference, but man, like, I don't know for like that glitter lipstick who's looking for glitter lips. Like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe, yeah, just, I don't know. Okay, so something I hauled this month that you saw, what, last week or something like that for the filming, this is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm and Lip Scrub. I know myself. I know I'm not going to use these little packets. I'm going to pass this on while Bite is still fresh <laughs> to somebody who will enjoy using that product. That is not me. All right, so I went in to look at lip glosses, and this Velvet 59 lip gloss had separated, you see, right down here how it's gone bad. So I'm going to toss this one. I only used it once or twice. I don't know anything about it. I like the color. I remember I tested it a few times and I thought it was good enough to keep in my collection, but it's not going to stick around as it has gone bad <laughs> and I'm not putting it on my lips. I also have this e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Sunset. I think I got this from a trade too. And here's my issue with it. It is so pretty. Look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so, I was so excited to wear this, and I wanted to go apply it, and it didn't show up on my lids. Like, when you swatch these, the swatch is beautiful. Like, it looks so good, right? Like, look at that pigmentation. It doesn't show up on the lid like that. It completely buffs away and disappears. And... What? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> How does it just disappear? Like, look, even when I rub it like that, like, it's gone. And, girl does not have time to play like that. I just don't. So, I'm going to get rid of that one, too. I just can't even. I was so disappointed because those colors are so pretty, and I wanted to, like, love that palette. Like, that's the one I wanted to use instead of using my um, magnetic palette. Like, I wanted to use that one, but no way in am I using that palette. It's not even worth my time. Uh, this is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. I went to start using this. Focus. And uh, it's a powder that you have to add water to. This is not my favorite um, method of using a peel. Like, I'd much prefer that it's already mixed so I can just apply it to my face, use it as a mask, and then rinse it off. Because I have to add water or how to cleanse, it's just not worth it for me. I know myself, I know I'm not going to use it. 
And then this is the Mali Ultimate Performance See the Light Concealer. And this is such a beautiful high coverage concealer. However, someone commented me when wearing this, Julie, you look so tired. I'm wearing a concealer to not look tired. <laughs> You know, so I put it on and it just emphasized, you know, my fine lines and wrinkles. I already have bags under my eyes. I have wrinkles under my eyes. They're not horrible, but you know, I'm 31. So that's the reality of life. I don't need a concealer that adds any texture underneath my eyes. Unfortunately, that one does. I have a girlfriend who said that she was really interested in it. I'm going to give it to her. She's going to love it. And there we go. That's that's what I'm decluttering this month. I think that's like a pretty good amount, right? Like I'm pretty proud that like this much stuff is going on in my, my life right now. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I wanna know, do you like any of these products that I'm decluttering? Like are any of these like your favorite products? I don't hear people talking about really any of these products, so I'd be interested if you have a different opinion. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.